Hello, my dear Indian students. A very good morning. Get back to MBS Learning Institute. Today we are going to learn how a pronoun can become an adjective. Let us see how it will become. But before we are going to enter the class, just please subscribe our channel in order not to miss any class because it will be so useful. As come on, see. So how a pronoun can become an adjective? So as we discussed, what are the pronouns? How many kind and how they are? So I I I had given you detailed information regarding uh, four kinds of pronouns. Okay. Then let us see how a pronoun can become an adjective. See, come on. How a pronoun? How a pronoun can become an adjective? Uh, this is the topic what we are discussing today. See, this is this is my house. This is my house. This is my house here. What about this? Uh, this is a demonstrative pronoun. But anyhow, is it pronoun or not? Particular what kind of pronoun it is? Demonstrative pronoun. So this is my house. And see this. house is mine whereas which of these which of these books is yours which of these books is yours which book is yours like what are you reading what are you reading what are you reading what are you reading what book what book what are you reading what book are you reading see come on let's find out here pronouns yesterday we learned these are all pronoun this is what this is demonstrative pronoun this is what are these interrogative pronouns let us see this is my house it is a pronoun not a title but particularly it is a demonstrative pronoun but what is our topic today how a pronoun can become an adjective how how is it possible let us see i have already told you if a noun if a pronoun is placed in front of a noun then a pronoun may become an adjective my house this is just an example i am going to notify you my house my is a pronoun possessive pronoun but anyhow it is a pronoun but it is known as an adjective it is known as an adjective that is known as a possessive adjective how because this is a house so am this possessive pronoun is placed in front of house then it is modified so it modifies this one so it is showing the relation whose house is that it's my house so that's why anyhow but the content is here how a pronoun can become an adjective so this is the way so if a pronoun if a pronoun is used if a pronoun is used the subject of the verb without without following a noun then it is known as a pronoun whereas if the pronoun is used as subject of the verb with following a noun in front of it then it will become an adjective have you understood what i said now if a pronoun is the subject of the verb is placed in front of it without following a noun 
is known as or is remained as a pronoun. But see here, whereas if the pronoun is used along with the noun in front of it as a subject of the verb, then it is known as as a subject of the verb or object of the verb. But see here, this is what here, this is an object of the verb. But how it will become? Adjective, it is a pronoun, but how did it become an adjective? Because it is followed a noun in front of it. Do you understand? So, a simple logic if a pronoun, then how a pronoun can become an adjective? If the pronoun, what here? If a pronoun is followed along with the noun in front of it, either the subject of the verb or an object of the verb then it will become an adjective so here here this is just it is a subject of the verb without noun so this is my house so this is known as a pronoun but here this is used along with the house so that's why so this is remained as an adjective so this is known as adjective this is known as a pronoun okay and here also which of these books which of these books not book sorry which of these books is yours which of these books is yours so you may get your books it is a plural so why names are used here plural verb it's wrong we are talking about there are a lot of books but which one is yours that is so singular so which of these books is yours so which of these books is yours here so which is just it is used as a pronoun because it is not used along with the noun but see come to the next sentence which book is yours which book is yours a uh, which book do you want so here as which is used along with the noun in front of it then here it is known as adjective then it is remained as a pronoun so like here what are you reading what book are you reading so what are you reading see here it is used without noun but here see what book here the what is used along with the noun in front of it what so that's why then it is known as adjective so what you understand here so now you see here pronoun plus noun as it is either an as a, a subject of the verb or an object of the verb then the pronoun will be known as an adjective but this is for what kind of cases we have not all pronouns can become adjective that you remind note this point how a pronoun can become an adjective okay that is the title but see not all pronouns cannot become an adjective okay suppose you take here subject what kind of pronouns can become an what kind of pronouns can become adjectives genitive cases as well as possessive cases so genitive cases sorry genitive cases are nothing but possessive cases so accusative cases as well as genitive cases what are the accusative cases object cases can they become an adjective they are also not become an they are also not becoming an adjective see how a pronoun can become an adjective here we are learning here what kind of what kind of pronouns can become adjectives you don't think that all pronouns can become adjectives here nominative nominative see nominative 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 cases are nothing but subject cases accusative cases accusative cases are nothing but object cases so genitive cases are nothing but possessive cases and reflexive cases what are they reflexive cases see here listen to me nominative cases objective cases cannot become adjectives so what are the rest here genitive cases and reflexive cases genitive cases and reflexive cases reflexive case also cannot become an adjective so what kind of pronouns can become adjectives what kind of pronouns genitive cases can become adjective what are the genitive cases can become adjectives and here this is regarding what your personal pronouns in personal pronoun genitive case can genitive cases can become genitive cases are nothing but what your passive cases can become adjectives whereas the rest 
the rest of the pronouns what are the actual there are seven different kinds of pronouns personal pronouns demonstrative relative interrogative distributive indefinite and reciprocal okay then what can become what can become distributive pronouns can become adjectives distributive pronouns can become adjectives demonstrative pronouns can become adjectives again okay? or interrogative pronouns can become adjectives i understood what is it now distributive pronouns can become adjectives interrogative pronouns can become adjectives next demonstrative can demonstrative pronouns can become adjectives that is okay but regarding personal pronouns what kind of pronouns can become adjectives there are four kinds of personal pronouns what are they here nominative cases accusative cases genitive cases reflexive cases but regarding only genitive cases in genitive cases what are we are they are also few my your our her they are can only become adjectives i have already told you those are known as possessive adjectives because they will be used along with a noun otherwise they may not have a perfect stand okay so if they want the stand they will have to be used along with the nouns so this is the way how a pronoun can become an adjective have you learned so what kind of pronouns can become adjectives regarding personal pronouns genitive cases in genitive cases also few my your our her his and their they okay and demonstrative pronouns distributive pronouns or relate uh, interrogative pronouns can become adjectives this is how a pronoun can become adjective see here on distributive pronoun let's see each helped him see here each helped Her. each have to have so each have to have here here each what is each wants to see and each man have to have each man have to have i understood each have to have each man have to have here each is known as or is remained as a pronoun because it is not used along with the noun but see here each plus man is a noun so that's why here each is known as an adjective i understood how a pronoun can become an adjective but what kind of uh, pronoun is it what kind of pronoun this is distributive pronoun what is that distributive pronoun so this is the way how a pronoun can become an adjective so i want you to do number of examples so practice if you practice you may get perfect okay so without practicing you can't get anything so i want you to practice some more examples again okay? so this is a how a pronoun can become an adjective so now let us see the title what is what we are discussing right now pronoun what does it mean a pronoun is a word instead of a noun that is come to the point now a pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun so how a pronoun can be used in place of a noun let us see here raghava raghava is raghava is studying well studying well and raghava raghava is studying well and raghava is good at person raghava is studying well and raghava is good at person C. Raghava is studying well, and Raghava is a good person. C. 
The difference once you come to know. Raga, Raga. Raga is studying well. And again, Raga will be known. So that's why, what is Raga? It is a noun. What kind of noun? It is a proper noun. In Raga belongs to masculine. What the category here? Masculine. The masculine, if it is a third person singular, that's why. What is the third person masculine number? He. So that's why, in place of Raga, we can keep pronoun he. Because it is repetition. So that is how a pronoun can how a pronoun can be used instead of a noun, this is the way. So pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun. So in, this is a noun. So instead of a noun, we are keeping here pronoun he. So Raghav is studying well and he is good at person. Raghav is studying well and he is good at person. He is a good at person. He is a good at person. So that is, this is the how a pronoun can be used instead of a noun. And one more example. Shela. 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 Uh, Sam. Assam. And Shela sang a song. Shela sang a song. Shela helped. Uh, Shela sang a song. Shela contributed. Shela contributed to the poor. So Shela sang a song and Shela Shela sang a song and Shela contributed to the poor. So what do you understand here? She sang a song and got some money. The amount she contributed to the poor. This is the word. So Shela sang a song and she can and she contributed to the poor. So Shela is known as what kind of gender? Feminine. What is that? Feminine gender. Okay. So masculine. Feminine. So feminine gender. So what is the third? This is third person singular. It is a noun. What is the third person singular? Third person singular noun. It is a noun. Proper noun. So Shela as it is a proper noun. So what is the feminine singular member? What is the feminine third person singular member? She. So in place of Shela, she can be placed. So Shela sang a song and she contributed to the poor. She contributed to the poor. Right here, so all kinds of pronouns we can, all kinds of pronouns can be placed instead of a noun. Suppose so here pen. In place of pen, what can you give here? It. So pen is writing, pen is writing fast. It is writing fast. It is writing fast. Okay. So here you can take any other children. Children are playing cricket. Playing cricket. So instead of children, what can we use here? They are playing cricket. They are playing cricket. See. This is now. This is pronoun. How it is used? This is now. This is pronoun. How it is used? I uh, see here a boy. Uh, see here. Uh, okay. A cow. A cow is eating grass. A cow is eating grass. As it is known as it is. Eating grass. Have you understood? So, cow here is a noun. It is a what? Pronoun. So, this is, have you understood now? So, this is what a pronoun is. So, what is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun. So, now you have understood how a pronoun is used instead of 
and all. So this is regarding pronoun. So let us discuss the third one is adjective. What is that? Adjective. The third part of speech is adjective. Let us discuss adjectives in next class. So thank you. Keep on watching.